you all that. Well, I've not got all day, so a few trips about her. I've got to appreciate it. Yeah, well, you've landed on your feet, haven't you? How much are charging you? Well, about the same as you, but, you know, it's privacy, in it? So you two going to be all right? I've got to go in a minute. Hey, where are you skiving off to? You know what's special? Said it's your feet all right. She didn't stop, did you? Little greedy guts. Just like a daddy. Oh, I'm just off into town to get some more bibs here as well in the wash. Lender one of mine. <laughs> hey, oh, what's the crack? Well, I'm finally getting rid of them, aren't I? What? We're moving. Where? It's around the corner. With what? Is that any of your business? It is when you owe us a king's ransom. You were 20 quid down yesterday. Right, come on. I've got time for you women yapping. No, no have I. Is that the last of it, then? Yeah, the rest of it was glued down. There's nothing they can break, and there's no point in duplicating a toaster. So, a few clothes, knick-knacks, CDs, a couple of car manuals. Amazing how little I've got, really. <laughs> <laughs> 37 years old, and that's all there is. 37, yeah, and the rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they'll be going in soon. Yeah, they'll be all right this time. Oh, I hope so, the poor things. Hey, never mind about them. I've just officially moved in. How shall we celebrate? Um, I'll wash. You dry. <laughs> You know what, chewing gum? Oh, yeah, Tommy Master, dry. Uh, the Perry can't be chewing gum in there. Why not? Well, it's disrespectful, isn't it? See, I never understood that. Sipping tea isn't seen as disrespectful, so why is chewing gum such a crime? We'll take it out before we go in. Yeah. If you'd like to come through. After talking to you, we decided that she was too young. And Joseph, Katie's baby, he ain't even one yet. She's still up for it, but still it seemed a bit cruel. Hence Tina. Hence Tina. What I suggest we do is this. I'll talk you all through the next stage of the process, and then I'll have a quick chat with Tina on her own. Does that sound OK? Yeah, fine by me. Yeah? Rock and roll. Gary, sounds like a dad already. <laughs> that is no bad thing. Now, don't feel daunted and ask as many questions as you like. I'll go through all the medical implications of what you're about to go through, Tina. And then we'll talk about all the legal implications of the entire process. Contracts and responsibilities and what would fall to whom and so on. Great. You're in a relationship at the moment? I am, yeah. I have been for a while. He was going to come today, but we're in the middle of moving flats. So what does he think about all this? Well, he wasn't doing cartwheels when he first found out, if I'm honest. But he's fine with it now. He's changed his mind. He, he's got used to the idea. He knows he's not going to be forever and he's happy that we're helping friends out. You won't be pregnant forever, but you could have lifelong contact with the child. Right. That's fine. Childbirth isn't easy, of course. Mm. So I've heard. Especially first time around. Yeah, well, I'm healthy, though. So how would you feel about going through it for the first time and then having to hand the baby straight over to your friends? Well, I, I try not to think of it like that because it won't be mine, will it? It'd be Izzy's. Like, it's their genes and their DNA. Tommy calls me an aircraft carrier. HMS McIntyre. <laughs> Some men have such a way with words. <laughs> yeah, well, he's sensitive like that. <laughs> And Izzy and Gary, they're your neighbours, is yeah, that right? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, no, we live quite close by. Izzy comes into the pub where I work and I do a bit of work for her dad now and again. I get on with the family, I've known them for a while. And how do you imagine the relationship to the baby will be when they're out and about? When you pop in for coffee? When it's talking, calling Izzy mummy, becoming a little human being? Well, um... I'll coot it, I suppose. Is, is that the word? I'll just be like any other friend of theirs. It might be difficult not to experience some attachment, especially when your body's demonstrating all the signs of motherhood. Hormonally, physically, emotionally. Right. Believe me, Tina, I, I'm not trying to scare you or, or put you off Oh, no, no, it's helpful what you're saying. But it is what it is, isn't it? I'm just trying to do a good thing. 
Oh, you're doing a very good thing. A brave and selfless thing. Just want to help. Would you like to have children of your own one day? Um, I just feel like there's things that I want to do first. Like when I see girls my age walking down the road pushing prams. I just... I just think there's time. You know? So what did you say to that? Well, I, I told the truth. I said um, he wasn't wild about the idea initially, um, but he came round to the idea fairly quickly. And what did she say? Um, well, she said it was common. She didn't look worried. Good. Well, it's understandable, isn't it? Whose boyfriend would think it was a brilliant idea? Yeah, but he'll, he'll benefit from it in the long run, won't he, when he has his debts paid? Oh, yeah, yeah, he, he knows that. He's completely on board now. Yeah, cos, I mean, let's be honest, you know, he'll bear the brunt of it. I was such a moody cow when I was having him. <laughs> They'll be fine. Of course they will. Yeah, I know, so can you just... Well, I'm sorry, Gary. We're going to tiptoe around the subject. I'm only being straight with her. I think Tina deserves that. We've had one false start already. Let's not dress this up. But it's fine, honestly. I know it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Big fat pig giving him grief all day. <laughs> Big fat pig as if. I wouldn't mind if I was. <laughs> yeah, I'd like think they're going to airlift you anywhere, Tina. <laughs> anyway, baby weight is not like normal weight. So what else did you say? Was there anything... Like what? I don't know, like, do you think she heard alarm bells or...? I think we need to relax, OK? I'm in. We're all on track. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? I feel like you're going to be an honorary member of our family for nine months, one of us. <laughs> She's got her own life, love. She won't want us breathing down her neck. I'll be OK. <laughs> Can I just say that? Mum. Me and Gary were really grateful. Right, stop it now. We all are. Right, well, um, I better go. See how Tommy's getting on with the move. But you're glad you swerved that, eh? <laughs> well, Jason did it. But, yeah, got to get used to taking it easy, Anna. Tommy, pass me the TV guide. Tommy, <laughs> jump through this hoop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there's got to be an upside, hasn't there? <laughs> yeah, it's 15,000 quid's worth. Right, well, uh, thanks for the tea. See you later. Thank you, Tina. Right, seriously, stop with all gratitude, right? See you later. See you, right, Tina, see ya. See ya. Drawing pins in his wall. All right, I'll use sellotape, then. That's even worse. Oh, pull the wallpaper off. Anyway, I was a bit too old for posters. I mean, if it had a frame round it, it'd be all right. The frames cost a fortune, don't you? Yeah. You coming in for one? No. Got to grab a few cans, you know. Thank Jason. OK, well, uh, thanks for helping me to work. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll see you in bed. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll get this. No, no, I insist. No, I insist. Yeah, Brian insisted first. Owen, let me. Gary, once somebody's insisted, that's it. That's what insisting is. Yeah, it's laying down the law. Fine, I'll get the next ones. I insist. Hiya. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Buenos noches. Oh, sorry, good evening. <laughs> Go on then, you can get him in. He's couldn't have gone much better today. By the sound of it. <laughs> it's nice seeing a smile again. Yeah, but it's in the world. Fingers crossed, eh? Yeah, fingers crossed. Didn't see you there. Sorry, love. I didn't realise you were a smoker. No, I'm not. No, I, uh... I just wanted to know if you and Tommy were all right, you know, after the clinic. I'm getting there. Good. Because you know how much it means to us all. Well, I'm proud to help be part of it. And I said that to the counsellor and I meant it. And, um, help Tommy get out of this mess. <laughs> I hope you appreciate you as much as we do, love. Dad got himself into debt. Very much like Tommy. And he did everything he could to get himself out of it. Very much like Tommy. He, um... He ended up at the bottom of Lake Windermere. Wow. And um, when his last mad, desperate scheme went wrong. Tommy's just as capable as my dad for doing something really stupid. He'd much rather pay Tyrone of himself. Put an end to our deal. Which would break Izzy's heart. Which is why I asked for money up front. Take the pressure off us. Hey, greedy. Remember, that's for everybody. <gasps> this is the first time I felt like eating for days. You're not poorly, are you? No, I just was so nervous. If it all gone wrong today. Mm, but it didn't. Actually, it went better than expected. Hey? The counselling made me realise Dad was right. 
What? Quick, somebody <laughs> tape this. No. It's an historic moment. I'm serious. Yeah, so am I. I didn't ever work with RK, but with Tina, she's perfect. Yeah, she is. I'd put it this way. If she had to pull out, I don't know if I could better go through with it with anybody else. Hey, there's another spring roll there, is it? But if you don't want it, right, I'm going to get a bottle of wine <laughs> or two, seeing as we're celebrating. See you in a bit. All right, love smashing. It's got a really nice feeling about this place. Do you think? Yeah. Do you reckon let's stay on? You know, after the baby and that. I well, see why not. Have a run. Ah. Ah. Ah, oh, it's Owen. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I've got an itch. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, no, you're not. It's fine. We're just uh, working out where to put stuff. Huh? Uh, bye. Sit down. Sit down. Thanks. Is, uh, something wrong? Anything but. How is his face tonight? You know, I don't think I've ever seen her look so happy before. And that's down to you, both of you. Good. So, <clears throat> the least I can do is take away some of your worries. Five grand. They'll be the same again when you're confirmed as pregnant, love. Oh, Owen. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is generous. Gesture of good faith. You can trust us, you know. Don't let me have to remind you of that. I'll let myself out. Thought you'd feel better than this. Right. You know what this means? All our worries ending? But it means that we're committed. Tina, if we take Owen's money, that's it. There's no going back. We could still give it him back, you know, or find another way. Okay. I'll get the balaclavis and you get two sawn off Gina, shotguns, I'm being yeah? serious. How? Tommy. How are we going to raise thousands? I'm doing this to help Garrett and Izzy, which I'm, I'm happy to help. But most of all, I'm doing this for us. This time next year, it'll all be over. All our worries will be forgotten. We can make a fresh start. I thought that's what you want. You know what it is. That's 2,000. That'll pay the pizza people and for the van, yeah? Just. What about the other 3,000? Get your coat. No, don't worry, we're not stopping. No. Can you keep seconds. it down, please? I've just got my bit to sleep. <sighs> Sorry. Well, we haven't woken us. What's your problem? Um, is there something wrong? You yeah, haven't come with more excuses about why you can't pay off your debt. There you go. It's what we owe you. Oh, and while we're at it, you might as well have this and all. Oh, right. And, uh this. How much is that? Two grand. And where'd you get that from? The same place. We've, uh got this. Oh. Over. there. Where's it from? Sorry, it's none of your business. It is if it's dodgy. Yeah, well, it's not. We'll get the rest of it to you as soon as, okay? <laughs> yeah, there's no need to run. That'll be good, thanks. And then you won't have to bother about us anymore. <laughs> We've got a baby, Tina. You'll find out yourself one day that that takes priority over unimportant stuff. Yeah, well, uh, we think that about the money. Okay? Yeah, cool. Oh, and uh, no need to offer us a drink. I've got to go back to work anyway. Girl, please, Ruby, come on, me. Have you seen my Just, just, you know, that's it, that's it. Can't find any clean ones. I don't know, I don't wear your overalls. She won't take it from me, she won't take it from the bottle. Do you think there's something wrong with her? Oh, here you go, let me have a go. Well, if she wouldn't take it from me, why would she take it from you? I just thought, maybe she needs changing. I've just changed her. Come on. This would happen today. Look, why don't I speak to Kevin, see if we can get another week off just to help out? You can't do that. All right, just a few days then. You'll think I'm ridiculous. You go, we'll be fine. OK, if you're sure. I have to manage some time, don't I? I'll see if I can take her for a walk and get her off. OK. I'll see you later. Mm.
play fair. We're up to our eyes here, pal. First day back. How's it going? Yeah, fine. Mm, he's having withdrawal symptoms. Oh, of course he is. I remember the first time I left home. Could not stop crying. Me, not her. <laughs> yeah, well, give him a few months. He'll be volunteering for overtime. <laughs> hey, first, you'll go and see she's all right, won't you? Uh, well, no, I don't know. Well, I was going to go, but he's got work to do. She probably won't want to see me. Oh, take Sally with you. She's great with kids. Go on, then, if you're sure. Appreciate that. You're an angel. Oh yeah, just thought we'd pop in, see how you're doing, take a look at the bed. She's asleep. Oh bless her. Do you know, I was just telling Fizz how hard I found it all at first. Well, yeah, everybody does, because no one really tells you what to expect, do they? I'm fine. Of course you are, don't worry. We've got our own food, and I'll pop the kettle on, shall I? Oh, let's have a look at her. She's only just gone down. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, she's tiny. You forget how little they are, don't you? Do you know, I remember when I had our Rosie. She was only six pound eight ounces. Kevin turned up with all this stuff. It took about a year before she fitted into oh, any of it. I, I've still got loads of bits of hopes. You know, if, if you want to borrow anything. I think we've got everything we need. OK. I'll make the tea. Oh, I think she might be waking up. Is she due for a No. Maybe she just wants a little cuddle. We'll get her back off again. It might be better if you went. Oh, Kirsty, don't be daft. We might as well make the use of us while we're here. You sit down, put your feet up, and Fizz will make you a cuppa. Remember when I had Sophie, Kevin and Poppin, I'd be sitting there in front of the telly, eating chocolate digestives, watching Supermarket Sweep. Oh, I know. Your brain goes to mush. I am not sure mine's ever recovered. Oh, look at her. Still got it, Sal? <laughs> I think she needs changing. I could do it if you want. No, I'll do it. It's no problem. I said no. I think it'd be better if you both went. Oh, we're only trying to be supportive. Tyrone was worried, that's all. Tyrone told you to come. No, no, it was Kevin's idea. Just, just go. Got... Breakdown. Thought I'd see how my two favourite girls are doing. Don't wake her. Everything all right? Yes, contrary to expectations, we have survived. Never thought you wouldn't. No? Then why do you send reinforcements round? I don't know what you mean. Oh, well, don't lie. You sent Fizz and Sally round to check up on me. It was Kev's idea. Thought you'd fancy the company. Well, what's the problem? Oh, no problem. Except having 20 your supermum and a sidekick showing me how it's done. I'm sure they never meant anything. And look, I know you can go. Too right. So don't you ever embarrass me like that again. I just, I snapped, I'm sorry. What have you done to her? What, nothing? Her own? You have hurt my baby. I would never hurt her. I can't believe you'd even think that. Let me hold here, Ruby. Come to mummy. I'm taking her to the medical centre. But you can't do that. I would never lay a finger on her. You have to believe me, I swear on my life. 
For your sake, you better hope that's true. Doc, I've not got an appointment, but I'm worried about Ruby. Whoa, 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 what's the matter? I don't know. What, you think she might be ill? Something might have happened, she might be hurt. <sighs> look, take her through to the surgery and we'll have a look at her. Hello, you're through to Tyrone Dobbs at Webster's Autos. I'm not available, so please message. <laughs> Ty, um, I I'm so sorry about what happened, but I, I promise you, I, I, didn't, I didn't harm Ruby. Um, she just, she just wouldn't stop crying and it all got a bit much, but I, I promise I, I didn't touch her. Um, look, I, I know I have no right to ask, but you won't say anything, will you? Well, she is absolutely fine. <laughs> oh, thanks. Like I said, I didn't want to cause a fuss. It's just, you never know. Ah, oh, you're right. It's always best to be on the safe side. I do have one piece of advice for you, though. Well, you need to master that pram of yours. <laughs> oh, tell me about it. Like I say, it just collapsed. I, I, I mustn't have put it up right. Ah, well, no, I'm done. No, and thanks again, Dr Carter. You're welcome. Any problems, you know where I am. Yeah. See you. See ya. Cold to be sitting out here in tent. You'll get piles. Oh, you got your thermals on. You don't want her to catch a cold. We just thought the fresh air would do us good. Oh, I can have a little nosy. She's a proper cutie, ain't she? What's now like you, mate? Mm. She is. Why don't you two get off here? Eh? I'll catch you up in a minute. Oh, she's gorgeous. Ah, Craig looked like a spud when he was born. Great big spud Eddie were, bless him. My mum and dad call me the Mekon. What's a Mekon when it's at home? An alien from the Dandare comics. He had this flying chair that he controlled with his mind. Amazing. We're going for a swift start. Are you coming? No. No, thanks. I'll maybe see you in there. All right, see, see you in a bit. See ya. What's up, Ty? What's happened? Nothing. You know she sent me and Sally packing. Did she kick off at you and all? You don't know the half of it. Oh. Well, why don't you come back to mine, eh? I'll stick the kettle on. We can have a good old chin wag. Yeah. Come on, then. What's bothering you? I don't know what's at me. I've just had one of them days. She's out of control, Fizz. Well, we all have moments like that. It's not easy, is it, having a new baby? She completely lost the temper. She's pretty much trashed the place. How do you mean? There's broken plates on the floor. She ripped down Ruby's mobile. So she just lost it? But you think I'm pathetic, don't you? No, don't say that. You're not pathetic. So what about Ruby? Where was she when it all kicked off? She was just in a pram, sobbing a little heart out. I was terrified that Kirsty had hurt her. Oh, no. I'm sure Kirsty had never hurt the baby. No matter how angry she felt, she couldn't hurt Ruby. She loves her. She loves me too. Apparently that doesn't stop her hurting me. Well, we all say things we don't mean, don't we? It's not just my feelings she hurts. It's true what Tommy and Tina said. She hits me. Treat you like that. I think you should go home now. Grab your stuff. Yeah, like it's that easy. Uh, you and Ruby can stop here for as long as you like. That's not going to help. She's still Ruby's mum. We at least have to try to make it work. And don't you think if there was a way to sort it, I'd have done it by now? I'm sorry, yeah. Just can't bear the thought of her hurting you. So, um, how long has it been going on? first time was when she got suspended from work. She knew she was going to lose her job. She was devastated. There's no excuse. 
Second time was after a birthday party. Everybody left. We had a row. She yanked my arm up my back and slammed me into the wall. Oh, Terry. She was sorry afterwards. Crying, begged me to forgive her, and I did. Because I love her. <laughs> you remember when your boiler went on the blink? Yeah. She got all jealous, thought something had been going on. What, so she punished you? Threw a couple of plates at me. Bars of flowers. Worst thing, though, was my best photo. <laughs> me and Jack, all smiles. It was one of our last days together. <laughs> He'd proper made me laugh, you know, until your stomach hurt. <laughs> Precious them memories. She ruined that. It was the first time I realised how cruel she could be. See, before that, it was just excuses. She was jealous, hormonal, upset. Now I think she likes to hurt me. She thinks I deserve it. You do not deserve it. No one deserves to be treated like that. I'm sorry to dump all this on Hey, no, don't say that. I'm glad you've told me. I don't want you to feel like you're on your own. She's seen a counsellor now. She's trying to do something about it. Since when? few weeks. It's obviously not working very well, is it? I think you should talk to him. Or her. It's a woman, but I don't think it can with confidentiality, in that. Um, you leave your baby daughter alone with that woman every day. If she loses it like that, how can you be sure, Tyrone, that she won't hurt the baby? Yeah. You need to talk to the counsellor, right? She's trained, isn't she, to deal with situations like this. She'll know what to do. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Biz. You're a good mate. You can stay here if you like. You don't have to go home. Oh, yeah, can you imagine? And promise, mate, you'll keep this to well, yourself. Of course. I mean it, because if she finds out... I won't tell us all, Tyrone, I promise. Listen, right, anything happens, night or day, you just grab Ruby and you come here, right? Somewhere safe. Ty? Where have you been? You're still here, then. Thought you'd have done a runner. It'd make your life a lot easier, wouldn't it? You were ages, I was worried. Yeah. I got your messages. Took her to the doctors. Don't worry, I didn't tell him the truth about you. She's okay then. Yeah, she's fine. I'm sorry about before. You always are. I should give her a bath, get her to bed. That's if you trust me with her. <laughs> you do trust me with her, don't you? Baby girl. You've been a good girl for your daddy. Yeah. Come on, you. Is that Ellen Donaldson? Hi, um, it, it's Tyrone Dobbs. I'm Kirsty Solmes' partner. She's been coming to see you for counselling. But I'm getting really worried. The violence is getting worse. She's spark out, bless her. You've been lying to me. No, I haven't. About what? I've just spoke to your counsellor. Only she's not your counsellor because you've not been seeing her, have you? I tried. I really did. <laughs> I just couldn't... You promised me! You promised! I'm sorry. You say you want to get better, but you just lied to me. Treat me like an idiot, as usual. Please. You voice down. I don't want to wait, Ruby. <sighs> you know what happened with Molly? All that 
Nearly finished me off and you promised. You looked me in the eye and you said you would never lie to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, if we haven't got honesty in our relationship, we've got nothing. Please don't say that. You're everything to me. <laughs> yeah, right. Of course I am. Is that why you want to break me? I wanted to help you. The counsellor wanted to help you. But you obviously don't care enough to want to fix this. I let the nerves get the better of me. I, I felt so ashamed. All right. So it's all right for you to have your massive kickoffs, to smash our house up, to lay into me. No, it's not. Of course it's not. But it's much better than finding the courage to speak to someone. I'll do it. I will. I'll get help. I promise. Please, Tai, you, you've got to believe me. Why the hell should I? Because I'm asking you. I'm begging, please don't give up on me. Too late. I already have. But I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm going to stay here. Look after Ruby. Keep her safe. Because she's my priority now, not you. I think I will leave you crying When there's room on my heart spots you Climb my ball, Ruby, don't be crying I can go just to my sweet too Did you feel okay? Fine. You'll need to express some more for later. I can feed myself. I don't want you anywhere near her. Ty, please. What if she doesn't feed okay? Our cry's too loud, eh? I'd never hurt her. I'd like to believe you. Like I wanted to believe you were seeing this counsellor. Let me have a place. No. What are you gonna do, take her to work with you? No, I'm gonna take some time off, and then I'll sort something more permanent. I can't trust you with her. Sorry, I just can't. What's this? Bring your daughter to work, eh? Shh, she's only just gone down. Oh, I do apologise. I thought this was a garage, not a crash. So, something wrong with Kirsty? Eh, uh, yeah. She's she's not feeling good. Look, I know I've only just had my paternity leave. <laughs> You've been back a day? I can't help it. I'm up to my ears here. You can't mess me around like this. Hang on. Look at all the time you had off with Jack. Look, it's just for today, yeah? I can't say, mate. Probably the rest of the week, at least. I'll let you know. Yeah, how come you're not at work? What's she done now? Phone the counsellor Kirsty's been seen. Or supposed to be seen. Only she's not been going. You kidding? More lies. I can't trust her with Ruby now. Mm. Not when I know what she's capable mm. of. Well, you can't look after her 24 7. I've got no choice. That's Alison. Oh, yeah, it's Kirsty's mum. Yeah, I I'll see you later. Well, call me, won't you, if you need anything? Will do, thanks. Alison? Kirsty call you? No. I I came on the bus about an hour ago. Been sat here thinking ever since. I don't understand. I so wanted to see her. But I'm not sure if she might be. All of you might be better off without me. Hey, what makes you think that? The way Ed was at your party, the things he said. Well, that wasn't your fault. Wasn't it? I've never stuck up for myself or for Kirsty where he's concerned. If that's not my fault, whose is it? She's all right, is she, Kirsty? The birth was all right. Yes, yeah, she's fine. She had her in that pub, actually. <laughs> Maybe she'll get free beer on her birthdays once she's 18. Oh, Ruby. This is Grandma. Oh, she can. You're a grand. There you go. Oh. Ruby. What a beautiful name. A precious jewel. That's what you are, aren't you? Oh, good. You're back for dinner. I may call me fashion. I know it's your favourite. Look who I found at the bus stop. What are you doing here? She's come to see you on a granddaughter. 
I know. You must be angry with me. The times I went to pick up the phone to check if you were okay, to see how the birth had gone. To start near you. I've left him. What? I know I should have done it years ago. And I know I don't deserve to see you and Ruby. But I couldn't go on anymore. I packed my bags and... I've left him, lover. We don't have to be afraid anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so frightening having her in the pub. It's fine. It was amazing. So, what's this refuge like? Pretty good, actually. Only temporary till I find something else. Should have done it years ago. Yeah, you should. He wasn't like it when you were little, though, was he? It was only later when the job started to get to him, and even then it was once in a blue moon. The rest of the time he was so kind and loving. Then out of nowhere these fits of temper. Um, does Dad know about the refuge? Oh, God, no. Last thing I need is him turning up there shouting the odds in front of a load of battered women. So what made you finally decide to leave? It was around your due date. I worked it out. I picked up the phone and said to him straight, we've got to call. See if she's all right. <laughs> he just snatched the phone off me and threw it across the room. And did the same to you. Something like that. That was a few weeks ago now. I had to plan. Borrow a few quid here and there. Pretend everything was fine. Then, the other night, he was going on some coppers reunion. Booze, strippers, the usual. I just wish I'd seen his miserable face when he came back the next day and realised I'd gone. What if he comes here? He could go berserk, Ty. What about Ruby? Well, you can't live your life in fear. I learned that the hard way. I'll, uh, I'll make a breeze, shall I? All right, if I use your loo. Yeah, yeah, it's just at the top of the stair. She could stay here. What? Help out with Ruby. Maybe that's what you need, because let's face it, we're hanging by a thread. Why don't you say what you mean? You want Mum to keep an eye on me, so make sure I don't hurt Ruby? Yeah, that is what I mean, because I can't trust you. I can't even trust you to go and see a counsellor. But if you've got any better ideas, please, I'd love to hear them. She can't stay here. You don't know my dad, you don't know what he'd do. He'd be putting us all in danger. You have to trust me on this. Here we go. Oh, thanks. Are you sure you're going to be OK at this refuge? I'll be fine. Oh, I nearly forgot. It's like the one you had when you were little. Do you remember? Yeah. Nana gave it me. I miss her. Well, now Ruby's Nana's got one for her. I'm so grateful I got to see her. She's beautiful. Today's meant the world to me, love. Have you uh, got a lot of stuff at the refuge? Why? If it in the back of the car. I suppose, but there's a perfectly good front room there. Ty, can you get the single bed down from Ruby's room? Yeah, of course. I, I don't want to be any trouble. Hey. Ruby needs a nana, just like I did. To be honest, I need you too. Everything here so I can uh, hoover in there. I've already hoovered in there. I'll get this stuff unpacked then. Thanks so much for this. I can't tell you what it means to me. It's our pleasure. I really think this is for the best. 
haven't left me with much option, have you? I don't think we've got any options left. We have to try to make this work for Ruby. And if that means having your mum here to help us, then I'll... What I'm if he brings my dad round? You don't have to be a detective to work out that this would be the most obvious place she'd come. And he is a detective. Well, then I'll be here to protect you. That's all I've ever wanted. Right, that's everything. I'll get that. Oh, my God. What if it's your dad? Don't answer it. Listen, get in the backyard quick. Please, don't let him in. Alison! He's not gonna go away. Get out of my way! Are you off your head? Get out! Where is she? Who? What are you doing here? You can't just come badging in here! You... I know she's here! Alison! You come to see Ruby, have you? Your granddaughter. Have you heard from your mum? What do you mean, where is she? She's gone. That time? Get out. If I have to ask you again, I'll call the police. Because you know what? I'm not scared of you. If you're safe. We don't speak. You saw to that. And like Ty said, you're not to come round here again. We'll see what your old pals down the nick think of what you're doing. Just go. Sad old man. You're safe, Mum. He can't hurt you anymore. He can't hurt either of us anymore. Where's your mum? Having a line in. Ruby spark out. They're getting on like a house on fire. Yeah, she's a natural young mum. And I'm not. No, I never said that. I just... She's had more practice. My ears are burning. Do you want a brew? Oh, yes, please. Where's Ruby? <laughs> Still asleep, you must have really tied her out. Oh, she's a beautiful baby. Gets it from her mum. Certainly don't get it from me. Your beauty's on the inside. You're trying to say I'm ugly? You're a very handsome man. I'll get that. Hello? Is that it? No, no, I've not. OK, bye. I must be the only man in this world that hasn't been sold PPI. <laughs> Morning, Ruby. I'll go, if that's all right. Of course it is. You OK? Yeah. It's working. I know. I want it to work. Yeah, me too. Can I say something? Of course you can. I know you still don't trust me, but... the my mum here... You could go back to work. You wanted to. I don't know about. Maybe too soon. Do you think you're ready? Give me a chance to spend some time with her. Three generations. It's your decision. Yeah. Hey. Have I got any clean overalls? I've gone off eggs. I'll have it if you don't want it. Whose idea was it to have a fried breakfast before we go to the fertility clinic? No, I'll pass it over. Thank you for your sensitivity. What, I'm hungry. Hi. Hi, Ed. Oh, come and join us. Ah. Oh. Want some breakfast? My treat. No, we've already eaten. Yeah, we're just coming for coffee. Two coffees, please, right? Certainly. I'll get these. Cheers. Legitimate expenses. Ooh, I reckon so. How you feeling? Mm. Bit nervous. I'm not great with noodles. Nah, no, me neither. So, you have to inject yourself with hormones every day? That's what they say. Nah, it's no big deal, is it? <laughs> oh, for you, maybe. You know what? I'd love for you two to have needles put in you, just so we know how it feels. Or every day we inject ourselves, just stick a pin in it. <laughs> I like that. Hey, I don't mind. I do. What's the point in that? I didn't know you scared of needles. I'm not. I just... I just think it's pointless. <laughs> <laughs> hey, gang. All set for the clinic later. Yep. You right, Tommy? Yep. Dad, what are you doing here? Two coffees. Thank you. Good idea. Make that three. No, no, no. I'll get them. Put them on your way. Oh, 
it's so nice to see you all together. Remember, we're all part of this. Hello. Oh, hiya. Yeah. I thought you were taking time off to look after Ruby. Has something happened? Yep. Mary Poppins arrived on a flying umbrella. What, Kirsty's mum? She's going to stay around and help us out. Oh, and that solved the problem, has it? You know how mad it gets with a new baby in the house. Honestly, the difference having Alison around, it's just everything's... calmer, like it should be. Tyrone, are you sure this is the answer? Absolutely. I've told her she can stay as long as she wants. She's great with Ruby, Kirsty. We're like a proper family now. It's all sorted, Fizz. See you later. See ya. How are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Not been avoiding me? No. Well, I may not completely understand what you're doing, but I'm still here for you. I know. Uh, we're going to the clinic later today. And you're still sure you're doing the right thing? Yeah. I thought it was a bit too late to back out now. We're committed. It's never too late. Yeah, it is. Oh, hi, Rita. Oh, hello, love. Do you want to join us for a coffee? It's just killing time. Oh, I'd love to, but I promised Norris an Eccles cake, <laughs> and he gets very ratty if his blood sugar dips. <laughs> anyway, good luck. Thank you. Wow, bang on time. I'm okay. impressed. So, uh, how many times are we going to have to go to this clinic, then? Oh, I don't know. We'll ask when we're there. I don't know about you, but I've got about a million questions. I feel like we're taking a course in GCSE human biology. <laughs> Hiya. How's it going? Yeah, good, good. All set to go. Are you stalking me? Yeah, I am, and my daughter's allowed. I don't know about that. I can manage on my own. Well, I know that, though, but you don't have to. I've got a few hours off. I thought I'd come with you. You what? I never asked you. You didn't need to, love. I'm here to support you. Now, what time's this bus? Uh, tell me you can check. Um, is it the 11.37 again? Yeah, yeah, but there's roadworks and corporations oh, through, so it might be a bit late. You OK? My dad is a total nightmare. Oh, he only wants to be involved. He wants to take over my life. I'll see next one, bus. Why would you do that? How is your dad on the graphic details of the female reproductive system? Uncomfortable. OK. I bet you a pound that I can grow some out in less than a minute. I would pay to see that. <laughs> What? Can't believe the change. In me or Ruby? Both. You do seem... Seem what? I don't know. Different. I wish I could have done more for you when you were growing up. Mom. Why'd you stay so long? It becomes a habit. I know it sounds mad. You feel like you have to stay to help. And even though I always thought he needed more help than me. Yeah, you're not wrong there. Wish I could have done more to help you. You are now, and I really mean that. Seeing you and Tyrone and Ruby, a proper new family, and even to be a tiny part of that. I'd like you to be a big part. Really? Tyrone thinks you're great. Maybe loves you, and I wasn't doing so well on my own. You never had a lot of patience when you were growing up. I still don't. I will stay as long as you need me to. <laughs> is it me or is it getting a bit cold out? Well, autumn's on its way. Oh, yeah, come here, you. We don't want you catching a chill, do we? No. There you go. What? You're gonna be a brilliant mum. Come on. Let's get home. I guess Ruby's gonna want a lunch. Uh, caught, yeah? Kevin forgot his keys or was just dropping them off. Mm. A likely story. Are hey, you two ganging up on me? We are. <laughs> Sneaky keeping. Oh, I don't know. What's a new cabin? My mum used to call it. Sneaky pig. <laughs> hey, do you mind if I. You may as well finish it off. You didn't tell me your mum could cook like this. My family's full of surprises. Well, this is the best one yet. It's nice to be appreciated. Oh, you're definitely appreciated here. You look tired. It's the 3 a.m. feeds. Why don't you have a lie down? I'll wash up. No, no, no. I'll do the washing up. You did the cooking. That's the house rules. 
I don't think Ruby knows the rules. Why don't you ever sleep? You entertain your daughter, and I'll wash up. Oh, she's the best. I know. <sighs> Daddy's coming. Why are you not tired? I'm tired. It's way past your bedtime. Oh, yeah. You're sleepy now. I need the fresh air to do the trick. What was that? I'm sorry, I dropped it. I'm so clumsy, I didn't mean to. Hey, come here. I'm supposed to be helping, instead I'm wrecking the place. Listen, you're brilliant. You're the best thing that's come into this house since our Ruby. Mind that glass, I'll give you a hand. Hey, no point in crying over spilled milk, is there? Thanks. I can manage now. Well, I'll get Ruby. It's getting chilly out there. Oh, Daddy's just as clumsy as Nana, eh? Ruby? Ruby? Ruby! Ruby's gone. What? Someone's taken her. She was only in the yard. Yeah, I know, but when I went back out, she'd gone and cursed to get down here quick. Are you sure? Yes. I've, I've been in the ginnel, I've been down the street, and she's nowhere. Are you sure her neighbour hasn't taken her in? Why would they do that? I can't believe this. You were only in here a few minutes. Yeah, I know, but it's happened. What has? Ruby, she's vanished. Listen, Ruby. No, I. She's gone missing. How do you mean missing? Tara left her in the backyard for two minutes. When he came back up, she'd gone. Why didn't somebody take her? You haven't heard anything of you. No, not a squeak. <laughs> Did you check the ginnel? Yeah, that was the first place I looked. It must have been very quiet. We were only in the kitchen. Right, let me help you look for her. Well, what about all? Katie will keep her Why <laughs> did you leave her out there? I, I heard a crash all when it's taken her with you. I wasn't to know. Now, like this has happened before. You still shouldn't have left her. And helping. <laughs> you didn't think to bring her in either. It all happened so quick. Yeah, to my daughter. Please. We should have done that straight away. She could be miles away by now. Hello, love. I came looking for you the other day, but I must have missed you. How did you get in here? You left the back door open. I'm surprised at you with your police training. And again, perhaps not. Give it back to me. Oh, Ruby. Now. No need to snap. She's been good as gold. Haven't you, Ruby? <laughs> Oh. No. Get out! It's not very nice, is it? Suddenly finding your nearest and dearest have been taken from you. Is that why you snatched her? Snatched? You make it sound like I wasn't going to bring her back. Like I'm one of those... Nutcases that will put little babies in harm's way. This this is my granddaughter we're talking about. What is your game? Why does that have to be a game? Well, you've never shown an interest in her before. I just wanted to have a chat before I take my wife back home where she belongs. I could murder a cup of tea if there's one going. Belt it went all right, girls. Yeah, yeah fine for me. Uh, do you take sugar, Tina? Uh, no, just black tea. And you think you'd get the hang of those injections, love? Oh, it shouldn't be too tricky. Blimey, there's no end of rules about what you should eat. Fruit, veg, oily fish. We have read all that. Yeah, then why is Tina drinking coffee? What? Avoid drinking caffeine. Yeah, I've given them both decaf, all right. Oh, OK. Oh, sorry. No drugs? You're not a cokehead, are you, Tina? <laughs> <laughs> no, we just have the occasional spliff every now and then, don't we, T? Well, you have to knock that on the head, mate. I'm joking. It also says avoid stress. Yes, I did read that, love. So give it a rest, will you, for mine and Tina's sake, otherwise it'll never work. I'm just trying to get it right, yeah? We know what we're doing. We didn't ask you to come with us today. You're making it a bigger deal than it is. OK, I'm sorry. If you go on at Tina much more, she's going to run a mile. It's cool as the M5. Oh, it's not that I don't want you involved. Yeah, but not in your face. 
something like that. Mm. I get the message. I'll let you get on with it from now on. <clears throat> but you know where I am if you need me. You, know, you might think about getting a lock on that back gate, Tyrone. I mean, anyone could walk in off that ginnel. What, like trespassers, you mean? Police can advise you on things like that. Just go, will you? When your mum's ready. She's staying here to work with Ruby. Ah, so she has been staying here. It's just that you said you hadn't seen her the other day when I called. You're not going anywhere, Mum. Sit down. That doesn't look like she wants to. Actually, let's see what she does want. She hasn't had much to say for herself. Alison? I'll go pack my bags. Well, that wasn't too difficult, was it? You don't have to go, Mum. It's for the best. Don't let him bully you. Oh, hang on. Who's, who's bullying? I think I'm being perfectly reasonable. Give me ten minutes. Stay, please. You know what will happen if you go back to him. Kirsty, she's coming home with me. There's not a thing you can do about it. Is she ready yet? No. You've not been trying to talk her out of it, have you? I was upstairs putting Ruby down. I'll, uh, I'll go and give her a hand. Just let her do it in her own time. All right, give her a shout, will you? You're dragging Mum back to where she doesn't want to go. You're just an evil bully. Hey! I'm going to go and get the car while I'm waiting. Okay? Look, we shouldn't provoke him. It'll make it worse for your Mum. It's already done that. Not yet. Alison! I'm coming. So, uh, one of these new men are we, Tyrone? I'm helping bring up my daughter, if that's what you mean. Mm. Well, it's a pity Kirsty lost her job, really. What? Then you could go for broke and be a full-time house husband then, couldn't you? You never let me forget that, will you? Well, perhaps you're with the wrong person, eh? That mum is, you mean? I beg your pardon. Leave it, Kirsty. Under a tyrant's thumb wondering where the next slap's coming from. You know, I think you should watch your tongue. That's more your idea of being a man, isn't it? Is that what you're going to do when you get her back? Teach you a lesson? Don't you talk to me like that! I think you should wait outside! <laughs> What's this? You'd make sure I leave. We don't want any trouble. Look, if you're thinking of trying to slip her out the back door... We're not! I wouldn't do that if I... I'm you. not doing anything. So do you not hear me? We'll bring her out when she's good and ready. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I don't want to fight you! No, I bet you don't! No! Let's calm down, shall we? What's happening? Oh, it's high time. Yes, Ty, go on, get back to your nappy folding. Hey, my little girl is going to grow up to love me. That's something you'll never have. Let's go home, Ed, shall we? I think you should stay, I'm fine. Let me get my bags. Are you okay, Ty? You should think yourself lucky. Big man, aren't you? Hey, scaring the mother and a little baby. Stop it, both of you. Do you want me to call the police? Oh. Mum, you don't need to do this. You don't. Don't worry about me. Promise me. Promise me you'll give me a call when you get in. I'll be fine. Bye, Tyrone. What was all that about? Nothing, it's over now. How are you? Not bad. It was never going to be easy, was it? How are you? I'm all right. As long as you are. What you haven't met? Um, another half in there, please, Ty. A pint and... Ooh, uh, a refreshing alcohol-free pineapple juice, please. <laughs> Don't be too hard on your daddy. Oh, he never knows when to stop. Yeah, he just wants it to work. And he's making it all possible. She's got a point. I can understand why he wants to be involved, if you see it from his point of view. I know. 
Better to have him behind us than against us, eh? And I'm fine with all. And he has promised he'll back off now, so I think she'll let it go. Call me if he kicks off again. Yeah, okay, Mum. Bye. How is she? Well, she says she's all right, but... You don't believe her? You saw what he was like. None of this had happened if she hadn't come to stay. What else could we have done? It was asking for trouble. She was in a refuge because of him. It was still a bad idea. Like I said at the time, only you talked me into it. Well, you're not going to blame me for Well, this. look how it ended up. You said you liked having her here. <laughs> it's irrelevant. He's going to be knocking great chunks out of her tonight. Like he has been from the yeah, start. Yeah, you made it worse. I don't see how. I told you not to provoke him. That's when he kicked off. It was him provoking me. So why didn't you turn the other cheek? So why did you leave Ruby on her own? I didn't know he was going to come and snatch you. If you hadn't have invited him to my party oh, in the not first place, the fact is, if I'd have had my way along, everything would be fine. No, he wouldn't. Yes, it would! Stop trying to contradict me!